Cardinals did nothing in the first half. They came back. They beat the Raiders in overtime, 29-23. And let's start for uh, something with our uh, for our viewing audience here on Peacock or our YouTube channel, which we don't need to promote anymore. We don't care anymore about it. They were it's at 50,000. It's like, over 50,000, so you, you don't need to sign up for it anymore. We're there. We made it. We've arrived. Uh, Kyler Murray, we got the dots. Pete and uh, Kristen, do we have the dots on the two-point conversion that was the craziest two-point conversion late in the game that we maybe have ever seen. It, it was it was up there. It went for over 20 seconds. He's standing in the pocket, scrambling. Raiders only rushing two. He's going back and forth. And he ended up running, according to Next Gen Stats, 84.9 yards. It was amazing. I was getting the makeup at this time and going like, and, you know, I was driving the makeup woman crazy because I was like, <laughs> would you get off me with this stupid brush so I could see this play? Because this is unbelievable. I mean, it really is. Uh, and, you know, uh, you know, I think, yeah, it's, it's, he's a special talent. He is. He made some big plays in the fourth quarter. The Cardinals, you know, I, I, again, I mean, they seem dead in the water, and I yeah. went, oh, man, they got no chance of winning this football game. They're even screwed. After, yeah, even after that play, they were still down eight, and you're like, all right, do they even have a chance here? It, it's, 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 um, it's, it's so, like, all right, their defense played good. In the second half. I mean, that's the one thing. The Raiders couldn't stay on the field. I mean, it was literally like three plays and we're out. Three plays and we're out. Three plays and we're out. And so, of course, the Cardinals kept getting the ball. At least it seemed that way. And then the Cardinals just, you know, as we saw last year, they have playmakers. I don't ever sit there and just go, oh, wow, they got it. They cracked the code. And they're just picking apart this defense. It's just it's him making an ama amazing play. It's A.J. Green making an unbelievable catch, you know, in tight quarters. It's, you know, then there's a little Hollywood Brown. So it, it's a weird feel for the Arizona Cardinals. I know they won the game. It was gutsy and all that. I just don't know if it's sustainable with the way they play. I don't look at the Raiders as being a real special football team, not for the way McDaniels wants to coach them, right? And, you know, as good as Derek Carr looked in the first half, it looked like they ran out of tricks in the second half. They're not a great running football team. And their defense, you know, minus the two edge rushers, they're not real special on that side of the ball either. And Arizona, as we know, even though they're like, I don't expect them to be as good, they do have speed and playmakers on both sides of the ball as far as receiver, you know, speed there. The quarterback, of course, is electric. And the defense, when you take in Buda Baker, Byron Murphy Jr., those type of guys, yeah, Isaiah Simmons with the big forced fumble at the end of the football game, they have the potential to be difference makers that way. I still worry about their front seven, you know, and their offense in general. But, man, that was a, a huge win where – at halftime, I was literally going, man, the Cardinals are going to suck this year. Yeah. They're in deep shit, and they don't look good. It was 20 to nothing Raiders at halftime. Cardinals outscored them 29 to 3 from that point. Everything's forward. worked for the Cardinals. That's it, where I guess I look at it. But it almost didn't even at the end of the game. It's like I think they needed eight or nine plays from the 12-yard line in at the end of the game, scoring with no time on the clock. It was play drive. All right. They, there was a point in that drive, too, where they had a fourth down. The Raiders held. Uh, but then they literally held uh, on that play. Yes, because right. was when he scrambling was scrambling around. Right. Yeah. He stresses your defense out that way, right? So you think you're doing good, but eventually somebody gets open, and now you're you're worried about, you know, yes, they're uh, like, wait, is anybody ever going to tackle this guy, whatever, and you can't cover a receiver forever. That's, uh, that's for sure. So Kyler's getting a lot of the love, but Tanner Morris, we got smart homies out there, of course, obviously, right? Yeah. He goes, Kyler Murray certainly deserves a damn okay for taking over against the Raiders, but what about left tackle DJ Humphreys? Absolutely shut down former teammate Chandler Jones, made sure he never got that revenge game. Yeah, it mm. didn't seem like he popped at all. No, it didn't I, seem. I think DJ Humphreys is really their their – you know, blue chip lineman on their football team. I think we tried to talk about him last week a little bit, I think, actually. I mean, he's he's the one guy I do look at. And they were a little healthier on the O-line uh, in this game compared to week one altogether. And they were better. They certainly were. You know, yeah, I thought that maybe Max Crosby and Chandler Jones were going to give them issues. And even on a few of those plays where they scrambled and he made yeah. some great plays, like they were very close to making the play. Crosby but did. He affected the game quite a, a lot bit in the more, first right? half. Yeah. I think even in the second half. There was half a few was times close. that felt like he was going to get a sack and fell off of Kyler Murray and like, yeah. couldn't just bring him down. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. And it's unfortunate for the Raiders because that's why they got those guys. I mean, we know Max Crosby was there, but they got Chandler Jones because they went, I mean, we got to close games out when we got a lead. And, you know, for them not to be able to do that, that's kind of a heartbreaking way to go down in your, your home opener. I feel bad for Hunter Renfro. 
He yes. fumbled on that. He was he was really trying for the extra one or two yards, get him into field goal range. I didn't think that was egregious. I know he fumbled two plays before that too, but it was kind of similar, just trying to get every every last yard. And then Byron Murphy picks yeah, it up and goes right. back. Yeah. Isaiah Simmons, great play to cause the fumble. Yeah, though, just realizing, hey, play. I got a smaller guy. He's off balance. Let me waylay him, and he hit him hard enough to just jo- you know you know uh, jiggle the ball free there. And yeah, Hunter Renfro's not a big guy. You know, it is. It's unfortunate. You're right. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He's just trying to get a few extra yards to set them up for the field goal where you thought like, oh, wow, one more completion after this. And you're going, they're going to, this is an easy field goal. They're going to win the game. And uh, it turned just like that. I think the interesting thing I'm interested to see, too, is just the fact that um, I want to see what they did to Devontae Adams. Yes. You know, there was one or two plays I saw where I went, oh, Carr missed Adams. But for the most part, two catches, 12 yards, seven targets. Yeah, did not have the same the same day. And, you know, yeah, like I said, there was two. I felt like that. OK, that could have been a completion. Other ones, I felt like it was just like he kind of was just like, wait, he's I'm just going to throw it over there and hopefully he can make a catch. But they obviously had a plan for him and he was non-existent really throughout the day. Raiders with their largest blown lead in franchise history. Man. Dropped to 0-2. It's not fun for your buddy, Josh McDaniels, nah, this I feel week. Bad for and, Josh and the Raiders. Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Fareed, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Peace out.